Welcome to this deep dive into the timeless wisdom of Buddhism and the profound benefits of solitude. In our busy, interconnected world, the idea of being alone often carries a negative connotation. However, solitude, when embraced mindfully, offers a sanctuary of peace and insight. Join us as we explore how the Buddha and his teachings illuminate the transformative power of solitude, guiding us toward inner peace, resilience, and compassion. The Solace of Solitude – A Buddhist Perspective In the vast tapestry of Buddhist teachings, the concept of solitude holds a revered place. The Buddha himself often retreated into the wilderness to meditate and reflect, finding profound wisdom in the quietude away from the clamor of daily life. This tradition continues to inspire countless practitioners who seek solace and enlightenment in the embrace of solitude. The Quiet Mind Inner Peace Through Solitude One of the primary benefits of solitude in Buddhism is the cultivation of inner peace. In a world inundated with noise, distractions, and the ceaseless demands of social interactions, finding moments of quiet can be transformative. Solitude provides a sanctuary where the mind can settle, thoughts can flow freely, and the deeper layers of consciousness can emerge. As the Buddha once said, one is not born wise, but by listening, by living in righteousness, by purifying one's mind, one becomes wise. Solitude is the fertile ground where this purification and wisdom can flourish. In the stillness of solitude, one can practice mindfulness and meditation without external disturbances. This uninterrupted focus allows for a deeper connection with oneself and the present moment. The mind, unburdened by external stimuli, can explore its own nature, uncovering insights and fostering a sense of inner calm and clarity. Embracing Impermanence Solitude as a Teacher Buddhism teaches that all phenomena are impermanent, and solitude offers a unique opportunity to reflect on this truth. In the quiet moments of being alone, one can observe the transient nature of thoughts, emotions and sensations. This awareness can lead to a profound understanding of the impermanence of all things, reducing attachment and cultivating a sense of detachment and equanimity. The Buddha emphasized this in his teachings. All conditioned things are impermanent. When one sees this with wisdom, one turns away from suffering. Solitude allows for introspection and self-inquiry, essential practices in the Buddhist path. By turning inward, one can examine the sources of suffering and the roots of attachment. This self-awareness is a crucial step toward liberation, as it enables individuals to recognize and transform the patterns that keep them bound to the cycle of samsara, suffering and rebirth. The strength of solitude, building resilience and self-reliance. In the Buddhist tradition, solitude is not merely a withdrawal from the world, but an active engagement with one's inner life. It requires courage and discipline to face oneself without the usual distractions and validations from others. This practice of being alone fosters resilience and self-reliance, qualities essential for spiritual growth and personal development. As the Buddha advised, be a lamp unto yourself, be your own confidence, hold to the truth within yourself as to the only truth. Through solitude, one learns to be content and whole within oneself, finding joy and fulfillment in the simple act of being. This inner strength is invaluable, as it provides a stable foundation from which to engage with the world. A person who has cultivated self-reliance in solitude can interact with others from a place of strength and compassion rather than neediness or insecurity. The Heart of Compassion Solitude and Connection Interestingly, solitude can enhance one's capacity for compassion and connection. By spending time alone, one can develop a deeper understanding of oneself, including one's vulnerabilities and strengths. This self-awareness fosters empathy as one becomes more attuned to the shared human experience of suffering and joy. The Buddha taught, If your compassion does not include yourself, it is incomplete. 
Solitude allows for the cultivation of metta, loving-kindness, and karuna, compassion, through dedicated practice. In the quiet of solitude, one can generate and extend these positive intentions to all beings, strengthening the bonds of compassion that connect us all. This practice not only benefits others, but also enriches one's own heart, making it more open and receptive to the needs of others. Solitude in daily life. Practical applications incorporating the wisdom of solitude into daily life can be both practical and transformative. One does not need to retreat to a remote cave or monastery to experience its benefits. Simple practices, such as setting aside time each day for quiet reflection, meditation or mindful walking, can create pockets of solitude in the midst of a busy life. Additionally, embracing moments of solitude, such as a solitary walk in nature or a quiet evening at home, can provide a respite from the demands of social interactions and technological distractions. These moments of intentional solitude can be opportunities to reconnect with oneself, recharge, and gain perspective. The Path of the Bodhisattva, Solitude and Service In Mahayana Buddhism, the path of the Bodhisattva, one who seeks enlightenment not just for oneself but for the benefit of all beings, illustrates a profound relationship between solitude and service. A bodhisattva often retreats into solitude to deepen their practice and cultivate the qualities needed to help others. This balance between inner contemplation and outer action highlights how solitude can empower individuals to contribute more effectively to the world. The Buddha's own life exemplifies this balance. After attaining enlightenment under the Bodhi tree, he spent years in solitude, deepening his understanding before emerging to teach and guide others. His solitary practice was not an escape, but a preparation for his mission of compassion and wisdom. Stories of solitude, lessons from the Buddha and his disciples throughout Buddhist scriptures, numerous stories highlight the transformative power of solitude. One such story is that of the Buddha's disciple Mahakasapa, who was known for his austere practices and love of solitude. Mahakasapa often meditated alone in the forests, finding great joy and clarity in his solitary retreats. His dedication to solitude was so profound that he became a symbol of renunciation and inner strength within the Buddhist community. The Buddha himself often praised Mahakasapa's practice, saying, Kasapa is content with whatever robes, arms, food, lodging and medicinal requisites he gets. He speaks in praise of fewness of desires and being content. He speaks in praise of seclusion and not mingling with the world. This acknowledgement underscores the value of solitude in developing contentment and spiritual strength. Another inspiring story is that of the Buddha's disciple, Bhadya. Born into royalty, Bhadya had all the comforts and distractions of the palace life. Yet he yearned for something more profound and meaningful. He renounced his royal status and sought the teachings of the Buddha. In the solitude of the forest, Bhadya found the peace and clarity that had eluded him amidst the luxury and clamor of the court. His journey from royalty to renunciation is a powerful testament to the transformative power of solitude. Solitude and the modern world, reclaiming inner space. In today's fast-paced and interconnected world, the practice of solitude can be a powerful antidote to the pressures of modern life. With constant connectivity, through technology and social media, Finding time to be alone has become increasingly challenging, yet all the more necessary. The teachings of Buddhism offer timeless wisdom that can help navigate these contemporary challenges. By embracing solitude, individuals can reclaim their inner space, reduce stress, and foster a deeper sense of well-being. Practicing mindfulness and meditation, even for short periods each day, can create a buffer against the relentless demands of modern life. The Role of Silence Deepening Solitude Silence plays a crucial role in the practice of solitude. 
The Buddha often emphasized the importance of noble silence, a practice that involves abstaining from unnecessary speech to cultivate mindfulness and inner tranquility. In silence, one can listen more deeply to the subtleties of the mind and the world around them. In the Pali Canon, the Buddha says, Better than a thousand hollow words is one word that brings peace. This highlights the value of silence in fostering a peaceful and contemplative state of mind. In the modern world, where noise and chatter are ubiquitous, practicing silence can be a powerful way to deepen one's experience of solitude and mindfulness. Solitude as a Spiritual Practice For those on the Buddhist path, solitude is not just a practical necessity, but a profound spiritual practice. It is in the quiet moments of solitude that one can encounter the deeper truths of existence. The Buddha's enlightenment itself was achieved in solitude, under the Bodhi tree, where he sat alone, unwavering in his meditation, until he realized the ultimate truth, this ultimate truth, the realization of anatta, non-self, and sunyata, emptiness, is often glimpsed in the depths of solitary practice. By stripping away the distractions of the external world, one can penetrate the layers of delusion and see things as they truly are. This insight into the nature of reality is the heart of Buddhist wisdom and the key to liberation. The Bliss of Solitude, an Ode to Inner Freedom The Buddha spoke often of the bliss that arises from solitude. In the Dhammapada, he says, The one who has gone beyond, who is free from sorrow, who has broken all ties, the fortunate one, free from distress, look at that person. That one is truly free. This bliss of solitude is not the fleeting pleasure of sensory experiences, but a profound inner joy that comes from liberation and contentment. It is the joy of a mind unburdened by cravings and attachments, a heart at peace with itself and the world. Solitude and Creativity A Source of Inspiration Solitude has long been recognized as a fertile ground for creativity, Many great thinkers, artists, and writers have found that solitude allows them to delve deeply into their imagination and produce their most profound work. This is no different in the Buddhist context where solitude provides the space to explore the mind's creative potential. In the peace and stillness of solitude, the mind can wander freely, unburdened by external distractions. This free flow of thought can lead to new insights and ideas, fostering a creative spirit that can be applied to both artistic endeavors and the challenges of daily life. The Buddha himself often spoke of the creative potential of the mind when it is calm and focused. The Dhammapada states, The mind is everything. What you think, you become. This highlights the power of the mind in shaping our reality. In solitude, we have the opportunity to harness this power, directing our thoughts and energies toward positive and creative pursuits. The Integration of Solitude and Community While solitude is vital for personal growth and spiritual development, it's equally important to balance it with engagement in the community. Buddhism emphasizes the middle way, a path of moderation that avoids extremes. In this context, it means finding a balance between solitude and social interaction. The Buddha established the Sangha, the monastic community, as a support system for practitioners. Within the Sangha, monks and nuns would alternate between periods of solitary retreat and communal activities. This balance ensured that they could benefit from the deep insights gained in solitude while also contributing to and receiving support from the community. In modern life, we can emulate this balance by setting aside time for solitary reflection and meditation, while also participating in community activities, whether they be spiritual gatherings, social events, or volunteer work. 
This integration ensures that the insights and strength gained in solitude can be shared with and enriched by the community. The Practice of Noble Silence Noble silence is a practice that can enhance the benefits of solitude. It involves a mindful abstention from speech and other forms of communication, allowing practitioners to focus inwardly. The Buddha often encouraged his disciples to practice noble silence as a means of deepening their meditation and mindfulness. By embracing noble silence, individuals can create a space for introspection and deeper awareness. This practice can be particularly beneficial in today's world where constant communication and noise can overwhelm the mind. Even short periods of noble silence can have a profound impact, helping to cultivate a sense of peace and clarity. The Role of Nature in Solitude Nature has always played a significant role in Buddhist practice. The Buddha himself attained enlightenment under the Bodhi tree and spent much of his life teaching and meditating in natural settings. Nature provides a tranquil and inspiring environment for solitary practice, helping to calm the mind and connect with the present moment. Spending time alone in nature can enhance the benefits of solitude, whether it is a walk in the forest, sitting by a river, or meditating in a garden, the natural world offers a serene backdrop for reflection and inner exploration. The sight and sounds of nature can ground us in the present moment, fostering mindfulness and a sense of interconnectedness with all life. The Journey of Self-Discovery Solitude offers a unique opportunity for self-discovery in the absence of of external distractions and influences, we can explore our true nature, uncovering our deepest desires, fears, and aspirations. This journey of self-discovery is at the heart of Buddhist practice, as it leads to greater self-awareness and ultimately enlightenment. The Buddha taught, Know thyself, for in knowing yourself you will know the universe and the gods. This profound statement underscores the importance of self-knowledge in the path to wisdom. In solitude, we can engage in practices such as meditation, journaling, and self-inquiry to explore our inner landscape and uncover the truths that lie within. The Healing Power of Solitude Solitude can also be a powerful tool for healing. Whether we are dealing with stress, trauma, or emotional pain, Taking time to be alone can provide the space needed for recovery and renewal. In solitude, we can process our experiences, release pent-up emotions, and find solace in the quiet. The Buddha's teachings offer many practices that can aid in healing during solitary retreats. Mindfulness and loving-kindness meditation, for example, can help us to observe our thoughts and emotions without judgment, fostering a sense of compassion and acceptance. By cultivating these practices in solitude, we can heal from within and emerge stronger and more resilient. The Freedom of Detachment One of the most profound benefits of solitude is the freedom that comes from detachment. In solitude, we can practice letting go of attachments to people, possessions and outcomes, fostering a sense of inner liberation. This detachment is not about renouncing relationships or responsibilities, but about cultivating a mindset of non-attachment and equanimity. The Buddha taught, Attachment is the root of suffering. By practicing detachment in solitude, we can free ourselves from the bonds of attachment, leading to a more peaceful and contented life. This freedom allows us to engage with the world from a place of inner strength and balance, rather than from a place of neediness or fear. The Legacy of Solitude in Buddhist Tradition Throughout the history of Buddhism, many great masters have extolled the virtues of solitude. From the early forest-dwelling monks to contemporary meditation teachers, the practice of solitude has been a cornerstone of the Buddhist path. These practitioners have shown through their lives and teachings how solitude can lead to profound wisdom and compassion. For example, the 20th-century Thai forest monk Ajahn Chah 
often spoke of the importance of solitude in developing mindfulness and insight. He said, If you let go a little, you will have a little peace. If you let go a lot, you will have a lot of peace. If you let go completely, you will have complete peace. This teaching encapsulates the essence of solitude in Buddhism, a practice of letting go and finding peace within. Conclusion The Gift of Solitude In the Buddhist tradition, solitude is seen not as a withdrawal from life, but as a means to engage with it more fully and deeply. It offers a path to inner peace, self-awareness, resilience and compassion. By embracing solitude, one can discover the richness of the inner world and the profound interconnectedness of all beings. In a world that often equates solitude with loneliness or isolation, Buddhism offers a refreshing perspective. Solitude is a gift, a precious opportunity to cultivate the qualities that lead to true happiness and enlightenment. It is in the quiet moments alone that we can hear the whispers of wisdom, feel the heartbeat of compassion, and touch the depths of our own being. As the Buddha wisely observed, peace comes from within. Do not seek it without. Solitude is the sacred space where this inner peace can be found and cherished, guiding us on the path to true liberation. By incorporating the wisdom of solitude into our lives, we can find a balance that enriches our individual journey and our connections with others. Let us embrace the gift of solitude, and in doing so, discover the profound peace and wisdom that lies within.